get that going for you. All right. All right, Papa, tell me about when and where you were born. You what? Tell me about when and where you were born. Uh, when? Been so long you forgot. <laughs> Birthday's December the 15th and 27. 27, yeah. I guess I was born over City Hospital. Here in Parkersburg? Okay. And you live down here? Hmm? You live down here, down the hill? Up on the hill. Mm -hmm. Oh, up on the hill? Yeah. Down there. You know, when you turned to go where you did, you just kept moving. Yeah. Okay. Well, what about, uh, what about your parents? What do you remember about or your family? I I don't I don't remember a whole lot about my mom. I I guess I was less than nine years old when she died. Uh -huh. my dad died when he was eighty four. He. he Good man, good. Everybody talks about that uh, knew him. Always tell him about how strong and how stout he was. Huh. Uh, uh, but uh, well, we lived down here on the farm. You know, grew up there and done a lot of hard work. Everything the hard way. Didn't have no. Bailers and stuff like that, and you put her all in by hand. Yeah. Uh, what was your dad's name? Hmm? What's your dad's name? Samuel. Samuel, Samuel Wentz. Samuel Warren Wentz. Yeah. Where was it? You know where he was from? You remember him talking about your grandparents or anything? My relation, I don't know where it was my uncle. Uh, had a hose in West Virginia, had all kind of ground money. <laughs> like that. Oh, yeah. Because Vence is a German name. Mm -hmm. Wentz, you know, yeah. they say Vence is German. Yeah. You didn't hear him talking about anybody coming from Germany? Probably many generations back. But. So your parents were fa farmers. What what'd you do for a living down here? Baling hay and what'd they do? Oh, just, well, my dad uh, just farmed for years down there, but he finally got him a job at uh, Rig and Reed. Hmm. What's that? Oh, I don't know what all they did to make over. <laughs> but, uh, I guess it was hard work. I don't know. I, I, I talked to the guy that goes down to church. He worked with my dad. Oh, well. He's telling about how stout he was and all that stuff. Huh. Strong guy, huh? huh? Strong man. Yeah. What was uh, your... He was a hard worker. Well, raised nine kids. Wow. Where'd you fit in with the nine? Oh, I don't know where I'm going to see. My, my oldest sister mm -hmm. was Lord Jane. Mm -hmm. And then it was Geneva. And it was Johnny. 
then it was Junior. Uh -huh. The minor. Huh? Didn't I name her? Uh -huh. I thought I did it first, didn't I? Uh -huh. Was she the oldest? Huh? She was the oldest? You said Geneva was the oldest. I didn't say Janine was the oldest. I said Lord Jean's oldest. Lord Jean. <laughs> <laughs> Lord Jean. Uh -huh. Loma Minor. Yeah. Geneva. Johnny. Junior. Junior Jack. Virgil. And Mary. And all of them. Oh. All of the baby, huh? <laughs> What was the difference between uh, Laura Jean and Olive? Many years? Oh, you remember about how old Laura Jean was when Olive was born? No. She probably don't. Uh... Laura Jean was born. I think in Texas. Oh, wow. That's where your parents lived? They did live then, yeah. Oh. So I wonder why they moved to Ohio. Yeah, I can't remember that anymore. I, uh, what part of Texas down close to Mexico? Brown, yeah. Huh? Brownville. 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 That's where my dad lived. He was the boss over some making roads over working them Mexicans. Yeah. Huh. Carried guns with them. Did they? Boss over. He said if them Mexican like he'd do anything, if they didn't they'd stab you in the back or whatever. Wow. They were building roads between United States and Mexico I or something? Know, I had Wow. So why do you, do you know why they moved to Ohio? Why they moved out, out here? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. He lived in Salem, West Virginia, I think, when he moved here to Ohio, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> moved to West Virginia first. Uh, do you ever meet your grandparents? Huh? You know anything about your grandparents? Uh, I just no, not really. I I just kind of remember seeing one dawn. Yeah, did you hear any stories about them? No, I just, I just heard it. Pretty rough and stout man. Yeah. What was your real work kind of stuff? What was your granddad's name? Or your grandmother? Grandpa. He's dead off. In a long time. David, wasn't David? I don't know for sure. I think it's Dave. David. Huh. Okay. I can't remember nothing anymore. I can't remember what I've done yesterday. <laughs> so out of all those siblings you just named, who was which one was you closest with? He was closest in age to Junior, weren't you? Mm -hmm. You were closest in age with Junior, weren't you? That's why I keep track of him. I mean, uh, like my brother Virgil. I, I'm, I'm three years older than he was. Mm -hmm. Well, I remember Olive is nine years younger than I am. See, when... when when Olive was born, mm -hmm. my mother died, and blood clot went through her brain, killed her. Wow. During childbirth? Huh? Childbirth? 
Was it during childbirth? You want? I did, can't hear enough. Did she die during childbirth? Well, delivering yeah, olive. Yeah, yeah. Oh. And uh, then, then all of my aunt Edith lived down in Belfry. That's Dad's brother's wife, mm -hmm. Edith, and Edith. She took care of all of them when she was wee little. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's the, uh, see, my mom died when I was nine years old. You had a big family that lived down here. Mm -hmm. Big family out here, huh? You remember getting into any mischief? <laughs> uh, I probably got it a lot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, not really. Huh? We we had to we had to work all the time. We didn't have time to get in and nothing. It was yeah. Work, work, work. That's all we know. Had to do when I was growing up. Work. What kind of chores did you do? Chores. Oh, I say I get up at four o'clock in the morning when I was a young kid going to school. Uh -huh. You get go get up in the hay mow with a lantern. Go down the hay for a bunch of cattle and sheep, horses and cows. <laughs> get ready. Get up, get ready to go to school. I used to get up in, in the mornings early, and when my dad was working, make biscuits for breakfast, fix his dinner or his breakfast. <laughs> mm -hmm. Had a rough. After mom died. That's uh, walk out and walk down there up here to catch the bus. I can remember I used to wet my hair down and comb her, you know, and I'd get up there to wait on the bus and be froze solid. <laughs> About the first of recess, it started thawing out. <laughs> Yeah. It's funny. Glad we didn't get sick. Yeah. Pretty good old days, though. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you remember any holidays? Christmas? What'd you do at Christmas time? Oh. Hang up her socks. I don't remember that. <laughs> Far place and all that stuff. I so we couldn't hardly get to sleep that night. You know, we were listening for Santa Claus come down the chimney. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, we kind of had to work like, I don't know what, but we had a good time. Always had plenty to eat, you know. Yeah. Decent clothes to wear. That's Something good. Like that. So nine kids, you still got some Christmas presents, huh? Yeah. <laughs> what was it like in the community here? What was Vito like then? <laughs> there wasn't much here, I'll tell you that. <laughs> When we lived when we lived down there, when I was I don't know, I wasn't very old well I guess I wasn't even going to school then, but I can remember. Mm -hmm. We we had our driveway was way down here in 
will come out of where the carry out, about where the carry out is. Mm -hmm. hmm. Wasn't anything there, huh? I know I fell out of the car one time down there when he got out to open the gate. Fell down, my dad didn't know I fell down. He just thinking I shut the gate and he ran over my arm. Oh, goodness. <laughs> didn't hurt me. <laughs> That's I, good. Uh, is it driving a truck or something? Uh, or a tractor? No. He was driving a car. A car? <laughs> good thing the ground was soft, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Gee, we knew. Mm -hmm. Do you ever travel? Get outside of the area? Uh, I remember when I was little, we used to go to Huntington. We thought that was the girl of the world, you mm -hmm. know. Old cars, we had flat cars before we get there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why'd you go to Huntington? Uh, uncle. Oh. <laughs> so you've seen a lot of changes. Oh man! In your eighty some years, you. It wasn't. Oh, it's unbelievable. It wasn't. I could name everybody around, you know. Then. Yeah. Now I don't know anybody. Uh -huh. Wasn't very, wasn't very many houses. He just grew up this way. Old Charlie Myrtle, that great big old white house, right out here on the left. Uh -huh. and then there wasn't no more houses. You got on out there. We go around that sharp turn out here on three. The house there. Uh, I think he lived. There. And they're going around, there wasn't no more to you get clear out to that real sharp turn, you know, where that, mm -hmm. wherever, where he lived there on the left. And then the next house on the right, old Carmine Smith. Old Carmine Smith lived, he'd uh, make his rounds every day. To get his breakfast and dinner or supper at somebody else's place, you know. Yeah. He used to come down here all down uh, all, all the time. He'd walk across the hill, you know. Hmm. And uh, he'd come down, stay to supper time or dinner time, and then eat, and he'd say, uh, just as he got down, he'd say, I've got to get up over the hill and do my chores. <laughs> I can remember that. <laughs> Funny the things you remember. You remember anything that was going on in the in the world stage, political or otherwise? What's the first big thing you remember? Be what? What? The first big thing you remember about the going on in the world or the country? You're probably too young to remember much about the Great Depression, weren't you? Yeah. But you remember when World War II broke out. Yeah. yeah, I don't. I don't remember much about that. I'm just hearing people talk about it. You know how hard it was. Yeah. You have to draft. Get in the draft. Uh, yeah, I I registered. You know, in the draft. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to go. I got well. The war was about over when I was got old enough to go, and then I mm -hmm. was married and had kids. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I never got called, but I had uh, all three of my brothers was in the service. Mm -hmm. uh. So you, 
you, uh, make sure it's done. You, uh, how'd you meet your, your wife? How did I meet her? Yeah. They moved right over here. Oh. Right here on the next farm. Yeah. To the house and barn, barn up now. But right where they were doing all this drilling and stuff. Well, right oh, yeah. joined us here. Uh huh. They moved in there from West Virginia, I think. Well, they lived in the high but when they moved over here, I guess. But anyway, uh, that's where I met her. Uh, you went to school with you? Mm. She went to school with you? Mm. No? Mm. So did you see her one day and thought she was awfully pretty and went oh, to talk to her? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> About what, what time was that? What year? Or how old were you then? Oh, I was I was probably uh let's see, I was married when I was seventeen. Yeah. I was probably probably I was probably 15 when I met her. She's a maze, huh? Huh? Maze. Delma Maze. Yeah. She had a bunch of brothers, too, I believe. They give you a hard time trying to court, date her? No, not really. <laughs> Wonder what she thought of you. <laughs> she probably run running from you. Huh? <laughs> well, she thought I was the greatest, or at least she said so. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a good time back then. Yeah. Anything particular about Grandma Wentz you remember you want to share with your sons, grandkids? I know. I can't remember a whole lot about my mom. Yeah. Certain things I can remember, but. I can remember her taking care of my foot. See that toe right there where it's split down there? Mm-hmm. That big toe? Mm-hmm. Did you break it? That boy had got the blood poison in it. Mm-hmm. Old Doc Hill. He lived out there at Vincent. Mm-hmm. I, I, I think I got hole in it, man. I couldn't even have a cover touch it. I don't know how old I was. I'm I must I must be I don't know eight or nine years old somewhere in there. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But anyway, Dad called old dog Hill come out there. He said, Yeah, it has to be lanced. I can remember that. <laughs> Laying on the couch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, an old knife. I think it was about as sharp as the fingernail file. It was dull. <laughs> Never give me nothing. You know? I can remember that laying down on the couch. My dad sat down, straddled my leg like that. Mm -hmm. He cut that sucker. See, it's just. See, there three times. That down the. Split that two nail and all. Oh. Well, that was painful. And, uh, I remember Geneva and, and then we're still home then, so I wasn't very old because they they I remember them telling them they run out of the back door. When I opened that they said the step foot hit the ceiling. 
Ugh. And it never numbed it or not, you know. Dude. Christmas. <laughs> well. So you ended up about 17 and you're married. And had. Had a baby boy. Who yeah. was that, Jackie? Jackie's the oldest. And then pretty soon thereafter had Steve, didn't you? Yeah. A year or two. And Dad Randy is a baby. Several years later. Oh, I, I was, was going to quit on it, too. Uh-huh. They almost had some problems. I remember, I remember the doctor told her her wound was tilted or something. Uh-huh. And said if she'd get pregnant. It straightened out or something, and so we just fixed that. And along come Randy. <laughs> <laughs> what do you remember about raising three boys out here? Oh, uh, Jack had given me a little problem when he was growing up with the rest of them. Well, John. Let's see, I bought Jackie a years. Uh, boy, I'm telling you, I'll get so forgetful anymore. Can't forget what model of ship car I got him. Oh, Mustang? Oh, Chevy. Chevy. Uh, Chevy. No Chevy. 57. Yeah. Uh. It's Sam Chevy, you know, it was hot stuff then. <laughs> that was his one, boy. Mm-hmm. And he got it in. Uh, Jack got him a job at the sh- shovel plant. Worked there for a while, and then he got a job working for a contract carpet. Mm-hmm. And they took advantage of him. They'd send him a tour out of the country and way over in West Virginia. And mm-hmm. they wouldn't get in until midnight and they'd have to go back to work. And uh, I guess uh, I didn't like that. They want him to go. Where was Elkins, West Virginia or something? Late at night and do lay carpet. Mm. I said, uh, oh, wait, he wouldn't go. He didn't want to go. Mm. So they fought him because he wouldn't go. There was, of course, so they'd been taking advantage of him all the time, you know, and doing all that. But, uh, he bucked on my time, so they did. So he come home, told me. And I said, "Well, did they pay you?" No. I said, "Well, if they fired you, you're supposed to pay you." So I went over. I got on that bunch. <laughs> they was gonna throw me out. You know, I was raising King, but he, uh-huh. <laughs> I was telling what I thought of him, you know. Yeah. They, was a, they was a dirty bunch. They was a mm. scroungy bunch, and people that run that thing. Yeah. And that one and guy, he'd come and pick Jackie up at night or something. When I was working four twelve, and stuff, I'd tell him I, I didn't want him going with him. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Steve, Steve, he he was dating. Uh, Tammy. What's her last name, huh? Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Lived her out there in Little Hawkins somewhere. And I I noticed my dumb tractor is always out of gasoline. <laughs> He's going to see her. <laughs> he had taken the gas out of the tractor. Didn't he? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I can't. 
And you worked at Union Carbide, didn't you? What'd you do there? 42 years. 42? 42. Oof. I was running, well, I worked out in the traffic department, heavy machinery. Uh-huh. You know, these cranes that, these big cranes that runs on the railroad track with the boom sticks up there for 50 feet. I run one of them for years. Oh, wow. And then I run them big old ukes. You know what they are, don't you? Uh-huh. And, oh, and like a truck on a way big. You've seen them on construction, probably with great big whole tons at one time. And, uh, you could, 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 Run heavy equipment. You ever make any mistakes in them? No, not really. That's good. Do you like working there? Yeah, I didn't mind it. I kind of, I didn't mind it. You know, like I said, when I first started out, started out a labor gang, and we had to. Oh, they had this ore, and they put a bunch of us down there pounding up, pounding up in big hunks mm. with a sledgehammer. That's what we had to do. <laughs> mm. Then they graduated out of that. To, I got to the switch switchman on the crane. And, uh, of course, they uh, Cranes unloaded these box, uh, these hopper cars with coke and all kind of stuff come from everywhere, Africa, you know, whatever, mm-hmm. different kind of war and stuff. And they had to shift the railroad cars here and there and all that kind of stuff. So I got, got, Doing that, and then I graduated up to the operator. <laughs> it was, uh, I didn't mind it. So how'd you get into horses? Hmm? How'd you get into horses? Uh, let's see. Well, I owned I owned my first horse when I was seventeen, mm-hmm. but uh, just the riding horses, mm-hmm. good ones. You know. but, uh, I don't know. I got. Well, I did get into that standard bridge. <laughs> I I decided I wanted to get into the, the harness horses, racing. You know. Mm-hmm. So I made me a little racetrack down here where Randy's built his house. Oh, yeah. I remember. Okay. And then I I bought me, I went to Sugar Creek, and I bought me some brood mares and a stallion, and I raised colts, and I uh, Raised this one, and I trained him on this little track down here. Everybody said, oh, you can't train a horse on that little track. Yeah, no way. Well, I trained him. I won about every race put him in. <laughs> Told him for 27000 Uh That Vito Red? Vito Red coming around the... <laughs> and after that, I'd got some other trotters and pacers. I done pretty good with them. Well, you had a big old giant track on down the hill, didn't you? I started one down there in the bottom, but I never did really finish it. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, a lot of hard work, but I enjoyed it. Yeah, I bet. So what uh so you're talking a little bit about Steve and Jackie and Steve. What about Dad? Yeah. 
I think Jackie, the first job he got was a shovel plant, I think. I don't know. I don't know, maybe not. I don't know whether it's either or where he's contract corporate. Well, then when he was going to school, he used to go up there to, uh, you know where Phil is, Phil Purdue. Mm -hmm. He used to, Bram had that dairy. Jack used to go up there every morning, every day, and help him milk and, you know, stuff, work on the farm. Yeah. Steve, I don't know what, I guess he just, when he got the age, he went to service with old Vietnam. Mm -hmm. What'd you think about that? Uh, too much of it, I don't think. <laughs> the Aurea? Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, we'd send him stuff. I'd, only could him and his buddy. I remember talking about he wanted some tennis shoes. Green, it had to be green, I think. I remember right. <laughs> mm -hmm. We sent them to him. He said you couldn't tell over there who was your enemy and who wasn't. You know, they'd be your friend through the day and at night they'd stab you in the back. Jeez. How long was he there? I don't know how long Steve was in there. Did you ever know Glenn Nichols? Mm -hmm. Him and Randy went in at the same time. Brother Junior, he was in the Navy. My oldest brother John, he was in the Army, Air Force. He was a cook. Hmm. <laughs> cook in the Air Force. Hmm. No dumb Jack. He quit school. When we went into the ninth grade, quit school, stayed home, done a little dumb farming and everything. Uh -huh. With a kid. Uh -huh. Working teams of horses and plowing, cutting hay. Everything, just like a grow, growing man. I was, Kid had to do that. Well, I didn't get killed, but I didn't. <laughs> I did upset that big drag on my one <coughs> time. Had a drag made out of, of cross ties. Mm -hmm. I think it was two. I think it was two cross ties. Uh, yeah, and it was two, a cross tie here and a cross tie here, and, and two of sixes nailed. On them, you know, hold them both of them. And of course, we had uh, everything done with horses. And one of one, the mayor's dad had had a colt, so he borrowed one off uh, old Charlie L. There. And uh, I was supposed to be working down the ground down there in the bottom. Dad was working the ring, rigging reel. And them horses, they didn't know each other, and then they just got the fight and, and trying to kick each other instead of us trying to work them. Oh, smart boy, let's don't take that out of it. Y'all just fried that gut dirt drag, make her harder to pull. We'll take some of that out of it. Well, I was riding to stand up on, you know, on the back of it. And I don't really get up today what done, one done that, but that sucker caught on something. 
and threw it, upset it, threw me right up in between them dumb horses. Mm. And I, I don't know how I got that drag off of my His head, well, you know, two big crossed eyes and two sixes on. Yeah. So I got off. I got out and I broke my arm. <laughs> <laughs> I used to get I'd get on them horses and used to race used to race that's what I'd, uh, I shouldn't have been doing you talking about doing stuff and I always had them horses you know and Purdue's lived up up right up there where all of lives mm -hmm. not far from my house there they come down. We get them work courses out, take them up that ridge, you know, out that big long ridge. Up. We race them. <laughs> Dad killed us. He knew that. Yeah. <laughs> We'd race them horses. <laughs> just saddle, throw saddle on. No, just bareback. Bareback riding the horses. Yeah. Gee. <laughs> I know old Vance for do he couldn't ride a stick horse. He wanted to ride one was racing, he fell off and they held on to his neck. <laughs> he was hanging on his neck down here in front of that horse and he finally got him stalled where he didn't get him killed. Yeah. <clears throat> So you was riding horses at a really young age then. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I wasn't real when I... We had this big old stallion. Down to Barn, we had... Like, you come in here, and we had cow, cow stanchions, you know, where the cows in. Mm -hmm. And then back back here, we had a box stall, kept that big old stallion in there. And I'd come out half, when I'd take him out, I'd have to come out past them cows, and I'd, right here was a cistern. We watered them, you know. Mm -hmm. Why'd I let him out of there and let him drink? Nothing on him, you know. We'd get done out of water at him and get back in there. And junior, I don't know how it's come out. I wasn't know how Junior was going to do chores up there. He had trouble with that stay, and he wasn't buying him, but he, <laughs> <laughs> he, he trying to make him go back in. The old stud was going to come up on the cistern after me. <laughs> I always got along good as the horses. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. A lot of things happened I forgot about. I know we had an old basketball ram on a homemade job of some kind up on the corn crib down there and made it real heavy. And it seemed like it. I had a ring around it, and then a thing down here where we nailed it on there. I know we planned down there one time that fell down, hit old Junior right there. Mm. <laughs> Made a bad place in his head. Didn't wonder it didn't kill him. <laughs> Virgil, he was out visiting out to Laura Jane. She lived at Tunnel. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> And uh, Sammy, that's Lord Jean's oldest boy. Mm -hmm. I'd been up to Paul Houses. I was a farm house next up up from Lord Jean. Maybe maybe probably from here to the store. And they was just been up there and they was coming back. I don't know where they thought they was on the wrong side of the road walk and they went across and the car hit Virgil. Uh, I wonder if they'd kill him and he had his head all banged up. Mm -hmm. uh, they said they said somebody'd probably have to learn everything over again. 
but he got okay. That's good. Oh, yeah. So where did you live? When did you build this house? When did I build it? Yeah. Oh, I think I started. Trying to say fifty five. Would that sound right? 55. Is that after your boys was? See, Steve, Randy was just little. We little when we yeah. started this out. He was born in fifty five, I yeah, think. Yeah. So they lived in it, huh? Mm -hmm. Dad lived here. Lived in it. He was little enough to. He lived here, Randy. Well, when we first started, we lived down there in the hall. Yeah. And I started building. Mm -hmm. Wow. And I was, I was working Remington Ran, Marietta. I'd come home at night at Goody Creek. Down there, come home to uh, get work to 12 o'clock. I come home and go down to the creek and haul water and, and drums and stuff. Well, I remember doing that, and so they'd have water to lay the cement and mm -hmm. concrete blocks. And, uh, that was hard work, wasn't it? Back yeah, and forth. Uh, that, I think uh, I can't remember. I think uh, at that same time I had Delma in Cleveland Clinic Hospital. And I was driving up there. And then come back and go to work. I had to do a lot of hard work at home. A lot of hard work. Yeah. Seemed like my brothers, they got out of it. They, Virgil, or Johnny went to, in the Army. And when Junior graduated out of high school, I think him and, uh, or his mom could or something, they went to Canton, got him a job. Hmm. Left me here to do the form. <laughs> it was about 83 when Grandma died the year I was born. I think I saw some pictures. She was holding me when I was a little baby. But I don't remember. Of course, I don't remember nothing about her. Yeah. Dad always says a lot of, mm -hmm. Dad remembers a lot about her, so she was real sweet, but sort of ornery. Had a real good sense of humor. Yeah. That, uh, well, I'm telling you, I'm getting to see now. I can't think of any name. All right, all right, old man, though. Used to live back up there on. On three. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. He, and him and Jackie was good buddies. That's when they was teenagers and they running around. They were watching call. They'd come down here. We always locked, never locked the door. He'd be out to throw one o'clock here. He'd come down, come in, get in bed with old Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't afraid to go home to get in trouble? <laughs> uh, it's like it was his home, boy. <laughs> well, uh, we 
we never got to go do very much. So. We go to Barlow Fair every year. We didn't miss that. Mm -hmm. We always going over relations, you know, uncles and aunts, and what have you, to fix meals, you know. We'd have a big dinner, mm -hmm. go to Barlow Fair. My dad, he wouldn't miss that Barlow Fair. See everybody you know, huh? Didn't know nothing out there harder. I didn't have none really. Ferris wheel. And people bring stuff in there like chickens and rabbits and horses and whatever. I judge them, you know. Mm hmm. So tell me about the past 25 years. What's been going on with you in the past 25 years? Dalma died in 83 and you met, you knew Grandma Margaret from before, didn't you? Or did you meet her uh, after? They wouldn't leave me alone. They just. <laughs> Want me to go out and eat with them, do that, do that, you know. Invite me down to their house. <laughs> she had to fight old La Laquanda off of you, didn't she? <laughs> <laughs> or Louisa. <laughs> she, she didn't know what she's getting into. <laughs> <laughs> Took a lot of load off of me, I'll tell you that. I don't know what I've done about her. You don't want to do anything with me. Hmm? <laughs> said, you didn't know what you was going to do with me. What do you say? Didn't know what you was going to do with without her. She said, didn't know what you was going to do with me either. <laughs> Yeah, and then you got out of horses not too long ago. Yeah. Well into your 70s, going down every morning and doing your chores. Yeah, I was shoeing the horses at 75. <laughs> now I couldn't lift her leg up. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, one day you're going to have one down there. We're going to say, hey, Grandpa, we got you a horse to take care of. You got to get up and do your chores again. <laughs> Keep you doing something. I used to do a lot of coon hunting. Mm -hmm. Like when I was a young buck. Yeah. <laughs> Always had about three or four coon hounds around. Go <laughs> coon hunting. Hunt all night. Just get in time to get to work. Start to work in the morning. <laughs> no grass, no sleep. But you had your coon skin hat. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, had good times and bad times. Yeah. Well, that was good. I think you answered most of my questions I had for you. Had a bunch of them, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You still on there? <laughs>